Scott Demore will definitely find work. If I was AEW, I'd snatch him up in a second. Maybe he could be that go between that guy that Tony Khan needs, kind of like yes. his You know, pe- people were saying, should he go to WWE for what? Uh, nah, they for don't what? need him. You know, WWE doesn't need him. AEW needs him. AEW needs him. Yeah, he could be that guy, that right hand man that Tony Khan desperately needs. Yep. And I'm going to throw this out there now uh, because I think it is definitely relevant. Um, first of all, we learned that Mercedes Monet. Uh, has signed with AEW. Um, also, Okada, and you know, for, for those that think that I'm full of shit, uh, Mish brought this up, Kev brought this up, and I brought it up a month ago. Um, Okada was always going to sign with AEW. This would be Tony Khan's ultimate grab, and what the media was going to do is they were going to do the same template as they did with Jay White, and Will uh, Will Ospreay and others, and they're going to give this perception that Triple H and Shawn Michaels got to have Okada. And then after a month of which way will he sign, where will he go, and then, oh, he chose AEW over WWE. That is what the media does. They just did it with Okada. Now, AEW signed Mercedes Monet. She will debut on the, on the March 13th Dynamite in Boston. Okada, we don't know when he will debut. Maybe it'll be at AEW Revolution. My question to you, Kev, is I think this helps the TV negotiations with Warner Brothers Discovery. I think this will help with a little bit of ticket sales and a little bit of ratings early on, but this was the analogy that I told everybody for the last five days that I was going to use that I kept everybody in anticipation. In my honest opinion, Mercedes Monet on TV is better than if she's not. So she will definitely help AEW. Okada will definitely strengthen that fan base that's already into AEW. But, Kev, are these signings nothing more than spray painting rust? or putting paint over mold. If you have mold in your house, the foundation of your house, and there is mold, you either eliminate the mold and improve the structure of your house, or you could simply just paint over it and hope that the mold does not get worse. In my honest opinion, this is just spray paint on rust. There is a deep, deep, deep problem. The mindset that we have to have five-star matches and four-star matches. You know, the storylines are very, very weak. You know, oh, my God, uh, El El Sfinge is going to take on Claudio Castagnoli. I don't give a shit. Like, they're more about matches we would see main eventing an indie show. And I think, you know, what storyline is Mercedes going to get? You know, like she's going to feud with Tony Storm and Tony Storm is going to pretend to lick her and she's going to sit there and go, ha, ha, ha. You know, I, it, it, what do you think about these signings? I mean, AEW needs them, but the WWE doesn't need any of these people. And say, I'm hearing that Camille probably will sign with AEW. Uh, that's another talent, obviously, the former NWA Women's Champion. Uh, WWE doesn't need her either. They don't need any of these people. They don't, and it's not, I'm not saying that in an arrogant way on behalf of WWE. They are filled to the rim. They are fine. Even with CM Punk out, they are fine in the men's division. They're fine in the women's division. With no Charlotte, they have plenty of people. Tiffany Stratton is there. Jade Cargill's on her way. Uh, there's plenty. It's plentiful. It's bountiful. AEW, not so much, and they don't have anybody who really sells tickets. Will Mercedes Sasha sell some? T- I don't believe Okada is going to move any tickets. To be honest with you, those AEW fans are already going there. Those Okada fans. I think Sasha is more of a factor of as far as ticket sales go slightly but my my whole thing with them is is sasha on the the typical aew shit is sasha on tv the first few weeks then she's off tv then they don't know what to do with her like she's hot for a month comes out does a promo two weeks in a row maybe even take shots at wwe during a promo i wouldn't be surprised uh which you know get some play but and then nothing and same thing okada he's got a couple of people and okada has been there before by the mm-hmm. way it's not like he hasn't been there even if they get someone like, say, Camille, she's not that known. No one knows who, who really who she is outside of, like, real fans in the know. You know, casuals have no idea who that is. So, I mean, they need all these people, you know, 
AEW's got to do something, DT. But I, you know, Sasha will be like it'll be a big buzz. It might take some of the. Uh, no, no, I take that back. It's not going to take any of the shine off of the news of WWE. I mean, Sasha's nowhere near the star that Rock and Roman Reigns and people like that are. It's Cody Rhodes. Uh, not because she's a female. She's just not even that level star. I never even saw Sasha as that big of a star. Other people, we can disagree on that. But AEW is so inconsistent with building anybody up. The only person I see them build up is Tony Storm. And what are they going to do now? Sacrifice out of Sasha Banks on night one? I could see that. I could see where Tony Storm is going to be the the one for uh She's Sasha gonna be Banks. the honky tonk man and Mercedes is gonna be the ultimate warrior. That's a good way to put it. One squash as soon as she comes in. Uh because they've given up on Thunder Rosa, it seems, you know, and I love Thunder That's Rosa. That's a shame, man. I, I love Thunder Rosa and they've given up on her. Forget it. Is Britt Baker still a factor there? Does she still have pull? What is she doing there now? I mean I, I just don't what, what, what it's not too late. You know, AEW's not gonna go out of business or anything, no. but they're they're so uh, in the doldrums right now. I don't know. And listen, Edge didn't make a big splash either. No. You know, and Edge is, would you say, guys here in the chat, people listening, was is Edge a bigger star than Sasha Banks? And he made no impact at all, so you tell me. You know, I want people, you know, to be reminded of what we said here. You know, Okada is extremely talented. But, you know, as far as ratings go... You know, it's it's going to strengthen their base that is into the New Japan stuff. All right. right. Rocky Romero is now in the front office for AEW. Mm-hmm. All right. We have dissected New Japan's pro, rate, uh, pro wrestling's ratings over the last year plus. And their ratings have gone so low that I used I just started going dead in the water. This week, New Japan dead in the water. They can't even draw thirty thousand viewers total. Their yeah. eighteen to forty nine demo is under four thousand viewers. And this Jeez. is New Japan that was supposed to be becoming, you know, more of a household name in the States. You know, you see a lot of the wrestlers pop up on AEW and TNA or Impact Wrestling, and you know you get the opportunity. You could watch it there. You know everybody says, "Oh, Access TV sucks." Well, at one point, Impact was getting steadily mid twos in the ratings. There's no excuse to lose sixty six percent of your viewership in two and a half years, especially that the product is a lot better now than what it was back then. Do so you look at New Japan over the last year? New Japan has not progressed in the United States at all. And you're putting Okada and Tomohiro Ishii. Like, like, I have no interest in these guys. Just because they can have a four-star match, guess what? I'll watch a four-star match involving someone that I do like and someone that I do want to watch. It's like, oh, watch this movie because the acting is tremendous. And I don't give a shit about any of the actors and the actresses in the movie. I'm going to watch a movie where I like the actors and the actresses that are in it. So, in my opinion, Okada's going to strengthen their fan base. Mercedes is going to get some viewers to that product. But the problem is the foundation of AEW is so fucking flawed. The mindset that let's just put banger matches out there and the storylines still come as they come.